Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea. If you're new here and in today's video, I will be doing a Buff City soap haul. And here with me, I have my mom to help me out today because she purchased some products as well. So we're just going to be talking about all the products that we have purchased and if you can like comment and subscribe and enjoy the video Bye. all right so if you don't know what buff city soap is it is a chain of stores that are around the u.s and they recently moved to my location and so i recently went in there and i purchased a few things and the good thing about their soaps is that they are cruelty free handmade daily plant-based and have no harsh animal fats so they are great for vegans vegetarians um, and also they are very affordable, especially with me being a college student. And I know right now hygiene is trending. So this is a great haul for you. So let's just go ahead and get into what I have. The thing that I'm going to talk about is just this honey and oat soap. And this is what it looks like. And this is the first thing that, that I purchased and I used it. I used it every night after I wash with my regular soap, obviously. I don't put it on my lady parts, but I do wash with it every night. And it just has the oats on the top along with the oats inside the bar. And it smells like, what do you smell? No, I smell oats. Yeah, I smell oats. And then it also like gives me like baby oil, a little bit of honey, but more so like baby oil. That's just what I smell personally. And this, all of their soaps are $7. They do have $8 soaps that have shea butter in them. But for my first time, I just got the regular soaps, which were $7. And then also, I am I did purchase the lotion bar, and this is in the Scent Island Nectar. And I personally love this to go in my purse, being that it's so small. There was a little bit more lotion in here, but I have been using this faithfully. So, of course, you know, it's getting lower and lower. And this was $10. And like I said, I just keep it in my purse. And also I have the soap and Island Nectar. And honestly, the soap for this is so pretty. Like it's a very bright neon orange and pink color. And it smells, it smells like a store that I've smelled before. This smells like a tropical island. Pretty much. <laughs> it's A tropical so island, good. basically. So the next soap that I had got was the coconut soap. And this one smells super good. Like, I thought it was more of a manly type scent when I looked at it, but it smells like peppermint and coconut, I should say. What do you think? This is, that's one they gave me as a sample. Oh, yeah, my mom, yeah, she so got one as a sample. They gave it to me as a sample. It smells really good. Yeah, coconut and mint. Yeah, that's what I'm getting from this. And then I also have 99 Palm Limbs. Now, this mm. one I really love, and it's so pretty because it has, like, glitter swirls at the top of it and it's like a gold glitter swirl and this one smells like pomegranate i really do like the smell mm -hmm. of it and i think it does have pomegranate in it because it has like little seeds in it yeah so it i think that awesome. is pomegranate and it smells super good and then i also have this narcissist shower fizzy now narcissist when i passed over to my mom she's gonna explain how she really loves this smell and honestly Oh gosh, they do smell good, but this shower fizzy, it was $7 as well, and it smells super good. Now, this is my first time purchasing a shower fizzy, and so all the lady told me just to put it at the bottom of my shower, and the steam is just gonna, you know, like, bring the smell, you know, you know, into your bathroom, and pretty much, you're just gonna be having a spa day. Um, also, it smells like a spa. <laughs> it really do. I think yeah, it does smell like a spa. Um, lastly, well, not lastly, but the next few things that I have is this rectangle soap tray that I have from Buff City Soap. And this was $7 as well. Um, I've been looking for a wooden one, so that's the reason why I purchased this one. And then the last two things I had gotten were these two shower sleeves. Now, this was the first one I purchased. Um, and I got two different colors just because I want them to go with the color of my soaps. And these were both $4.99 each. Oh, yeah. That one, you just put your soaps inside of it. And then, of course, you just wash your body like this. So, it's kind of exfoliating at the same time. For those of you who might not like rags or, you know, feel like a rag is not doing the job, just put your soap in it. 
close it off and then exfoliate your body now the one good thing well there's several good things about these soap but as soon as you put water on it like it suds like so much so you don't have to worry about that the suds are going to be nice and you're going to get a good lather from all of this and so yeah now i'm just going to go ahead and pass it on to my mom and let you tell her about all the different things that she has purchased from there awesome yes 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 my favorite fragrance is narcissus i not only um i guess what had drawn me to narcissus and this is one of their uh top sellers is the color i absolutely love aqua right. okay and it has like a metallic sw swirl throughout this soap um and this is one that i have used so i'm going to be able to give you a true review on it all right so now when we went in the store they gave me the samples i said um i already had the cocoa that one has the mint and the chocolate chocolatey smell or something and this one I wanted a sample because like I said I wanted to try some different ones without having to buy the whole bar because they make their soaps in-house so I figured they would have some samples this one is beach I mean no I'm thinking of a beach when I smell it but this one is like cotton so I told her I like cotton linen beachy smells um, and so she gave me this one that is cotton and I'm also this one is fresh cotton mm -hmm. okay so fresh cotton and they also gave me the sample of the laundry soap in fresh cotton so i'm looking forward to trying that as well but this smells absolutely great that's going to be a good one i think i'm going to go back and purchase it before i even use that all right and so the laundry soap this laundry soap is narcissist again um because again i think that's just going to be my number one go-to now, you are supposed to use two scoops of the soap in one load. However, um, and they say you get, I think 30, let's see, 30 loads per carton. And if you take your carton back, I think that they'll um, refill it and take a dollar off, which is, I mean, that's a good way to recycle this really nice plastic container versus throwing it out. And so, how much was it? This one was eighteen dollars. Okay. Yeah, so I got eighteen dollars, um, and then you can use the coupon if you want. If if they give you one of these, you can use the twenty percent coupon mm -hmm. off of laundry soap only. Okay. And how much was the little scoop thingy? Oh, not free. It was three dollars, <laughs> and I got this from Buff City as well. Right. Okay. All right. So this soap, it it smells absolutely delicious i want to eat it right delicious i mean i just want it i want to eat that now this is the um foam soap so they use um mica in their soaps and as you can see i don't know whether you can see that or not but it has this little these little traces of not glitter um but it just re looks really cool mm -hmm. um it gives off a lot of um suds you won't be you won't be disappointed with their foam soap. Only thing it is, it's not um, antibacterial. So if you want something that's antibacterial, um, this won't be it. Okay. Do you but remember how much that would cost? Or? It may have been $10. I'm not quite sure. Um, don't quote me on that. It, it was either 7 to $10. Yeah. Not, you know. I've had that one. Um, we've had it for a couple weeks. Um, but back to the soap for me. So because I've used it, I'm very familiar with how it operates with my body and how I can use it. So for me, I take my regular soap and I wash with it first, and then I use this for fragrance, um, lather, etc. But I don't use it on my lady parts um, you, outside of everywhere else. But there's another area that I have found that's really sensitive for me. And so that will tell the test when it comes to soap is my chest. This is very thin skin, so I cannot put a lot of soaps there, more or less this, this Buff City soap. So it's not, a, not anything against Buff City, it's just that a lot of different soaps with fragrance or whatever, I, I, I don't know, this is plant-based, but I just can't use um, certain soaps in my chest area. So I try to keep 
keep it away from that area and put it on the rest of my body. But other than that, um, I absolutely love Buff City Soap. Yes, we love it. And we will be going back there for gifts for Christmas time. I've already sent my friend in North Carolina a cute box of the narcissist items. So I'm looking forward to um, her getting that and sharing it with me um, on how she liked it. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this Buff City soap haul, and I hope you all go into the store or either go online and order you all some lovely hygiene mm -hmm. products. And that concludes the end of this video, and I will talk to you all later. Bye. Bye.